has skated. That's Elvis. The other Canadian went earlier, and he too had a great performance. Let's join Dan Matheson and Barb Underhill a few moments ago with Sebastian Britton. Only 24 skaters advanced past the short program. Three Canadians started out. Marcus Christensen did not make the grade. Sebastian Britton did. He is in 20th after the short program. And now here's a skater who has been the Canadian champion. He's been top 10 at both the Olympics and World Championships. But the good results maybe are behind him because a whole new flock of triple jumpers has reached the world stage. The bar has, has been raised tremendously in just the past couple of years. And not only do you have to have a triple axle now, but as we saw in the short program, you have to have the triple axle combination now. So he has worked tremendously hard on the triple axle. He's going to open with it. that lutch yesterday he could be top 10 not top 20. Maybe not top 10 because there were an awful lot of guys trying the triple axle and his base mark was lower just because of the fact that he was not trying the triple axle but he could certainly be at least five or six places ahead of where he is right now. This is where Sebastian really excels the attention to the detail on the spins on the choreography triple axle and he certainly would be in the top 10 because he really has everything else that makes the complete package. Look at this entrance into the triple loop. His jumps are really on tonight.
just one flaw in an otherwise magnificent performance by Canadian Sebastian Britton. He obviously expected to fall on that triple axel, but that's happened to him at every competition this year. He's tried it, and he goes on, and he skates the best performance he's skated in a long time. Tonight, there is joy in Edmonton for Elvis Stoiko, who had a standing ovation, and Sebastian Britton, who brought them onto their feet. Britton has moved, catapulted, into the top ten as well. I talked to him after his skate. Well, Sebastian, this won't be your best result at the Worlds, but uh, maybe your most emotional one. How did that feel? It felt uh, great. I was a little bit nervous at the beginning, but... Um I got my standing ovation, that's, that's what I wanted, that's what I've been waiting two years to get, so uh, in my country, in front of that great crowd, I uh, just want to thank every one of them, uh, it was great. The barometer is always the triple axel in the men's competition, it, it separates the contenders and the rest. How close are you to the triple axel? When do you think you will be able to make that leap? Well, it's been so close that the week and a half I was here, so I'm going to work really hard when I come back. I'm not taking any days off, I'm, I just I feel like it's going to be in the next week, so uh, I'll have a whole year to get it, and I'm, I'm coming back next year with the triple axel, and I'll get those marks that I want. The crowd loved you. Uh, we'll see you next year. Thank you very much. Thanks, Thanks Sebastian.